Today, we're gonna learn to use the word like informally. Like, how does my hair look? Does it look good? Like, does it look good? Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy, Filosco here, and today, I'm going to give you a quick lesson on four ways to use the word like in informal situations. Now, these are not formal. When it comes to formal English, you do not use like in any of these four ways in which I am about to tell you. But when you speak to your friends or you're just having fun in the internet, these are four ways you can use it. Did I say in the internet? I meant on the internet. So let's get to these four ways. The first way to use the word like is when it comes to narration. And what do I mean by narration? Basically when you're telling a story about something that happened. So for example, so let's pretend I got into an argument with my sister, Filichkina, and this happened. You stupid and ugly. No, you're stupid and ugly. Yo, mama. That makes no sense, we have the same mother. Whatever. And if I wanted to tell my friend about this argument and use the word like informally for use in narrating the story, I would say, so yeah, me and my sister got in an argument and she was like, you stupid and ugly. And I was like, you're stupid and ugly. And then she was like, your mother. And I was like, girl, you stupid. We have the same mother. And then she was like, whatever. And in those cases, I basically use the word like to mean I said, he said, she said, they said, something like that. A form of narration when you're speaking about something that happened in the past, okay? That's number one. So, let's get to the second one. And the second one we're going to get to for today is to use it to say, for example, or such as. Here's an example sentence. If you don't want to visit me tomorrow, like you might have a headache or you might not just be in the mood, fine, just call me and let me know. Did you hear it? In that case, I gave you a scenario, then gave examples, and I'll give you one as I'm speaking. If you can't finish this video, like you have something else to do, or you have to go somewhere else, then it's okay. You can watch it later. If you can't swallow these vitamins, like they're too big for you or something, you shouldn't swallow them. If you don't like acts, like you have allergies or something, you shouldn't use it. If you can't write down notes, like you don't have a pen or a pencil, you can just use your cell phone and take it electronically. And if you still don't understand, like I didn't explain well enough or something, I tried my best and I hope you got it. So let's get to the next one. The third way to use the word like informally is, it's a general intensifier. It makes what you're saying look more serious and it puts more meaning to it. Like generally, I'm a calm person. Let's say I didn't know something. I would say, I don't know, but a lot of things that my sister say she really likes putting a lot of feelings behind it, so instead of just saying, I don't know, she is likely to say, Like, I don't know? Why are you asking me? And when I'm likely to say, My name is Phil, she's likely to say, Like, I'm Phil Eskina, bitch! Don't you forget it! Like, as a general intensifier. And that's the third one. So, let's get to the fourth and last one for today. And the fourth way to use it is basically to replace almost, nearly, or close to. For example, let's say I had a class yesterday, and I don't remember exactly how many people were in the class. I could say, I think there was like uh, 20, 21 people, something like that. Or let's say someone would say, how many months have you been in Russia? I don't remember exactly. So I would have to say, uh, I think I've been in Russia for like uh, maybe 13 months in total, staying here about 13 months, like somewhere around there. Or if you were to ask me, how much do I weigh in pounds? I don't remember exactly, so I'm likely to say, yeah, I weigh like, you know, 160 pounds, I think. Damn, I think, I don't even remember, like somewhere around 160 pounds. Like that, it replaces about, almost, or nearly in these cases, okay? So that's the fourth one. So let's review them. Like can be used for narration, like when you're telling a story. Like can also be used to show example. Like can also be used as a general intensifier. And like can also be used to show almost nearly or close to. Got it? That's all for for today, so you know what that means. So that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash That's me. Or subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. And also check my Facebook link is now down there. I'm starting to use Facebook as well now. I have 11,000 subscribers. You subscribe to me on Facebook. You see a lot of different things. Then you'll see them for contact. So subscribe to them both. It's awesome. And you know, 
You know what the guy says at the end of all of my videos. And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase.